welcome back to my channel, Chanel here and I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. Today we will be taking the love language test. So without further ado, I'll be doing the test right now and let's see what results I'll be getting. So let's get on to the video. So I have my computer here with me and on the website, they actually show four different categories. Um, you can take a couples quiz, children's quiz, singles quiz as well as a teens quiz. And I think that the profile that probably suits me the most in this current state is teens because I am not with my boyfriend so I think that it's a bit weird if I'm going to be taking the couples quiz. Okay, so starting with the first question, which statement fits you better? So I'm guessing it's more like a would you rather kind of type of situation right here. You have to choose one or the other. I like to spend one-on-one -on -one time with people versus I feel loved when someone gives practical help to me. Um, I think it's the first one. I love it when people take their time out to spend time with me even if it's just like five minutes of a call. I really appreciate that. Which statement fits you better? I like it when people give me gifts. I really enjoy hanging out with people close to me. I am a gift hoarder, a gift slut if that even makes sense. Like, I love it when people buy me gifts and I think it's not really about the gift itself. It's more about like when someone buys something for me, they're thinking about me. I feel loved when someone I'm close to puts an arm around me. I feel loved when I receive a gift from someone I'm close to. Between these two, I think I would prefer the first one. I'm someone that loves physical touch. I like it when people hug me or like hold my hand or like link hands with me. Yeah, I really love physical touch. Gifts are symbols of love that are important to me. I feel loved when people affirm me. Um, I think second one, I appreciate when people tell me that I'm important to them. <laughs> yeah. Words of acceptance mean a lot to me. I know someone loves me when he or she helps me. Words of acceptance means a lot to me. Um, I'm someone that struggles with overthinking and a lot of anxious thoughts in general because I overthink a lot of stuff and I think that it stems from insecurity and like confidence issues but um, I really appreciate it when someone even tells me a simple like oh you have done well today I, I'm a sucker for that what was that sound? I like being with and doing activities with friends and family versus I like it when kind words are spoken to me. I think the first one. I value praise and avoid criticism. Several small gifts mean more to me than one large gift. I value praise and avoid criticism. I hate it when people criticize me and I think it's because I know I tend to get very defensive as well but I'm actively trying to fix that. But sometimes it's like I slip up and when people criticize me, my immediate reaction is to snap at them. I think like that's so bad of me. So yeah, obviously I would love to have praises as compared to criticisms. No. I appreciate when people compliment my achievements versus I know people love me when they do things for me that they don't enjoy doing. Um, I think the second one, I think it takes a lot for someone to step out of their comfort zone to do something for the person that they love, especially if it makes them uncomfortable and I think I appreciate that so much. I feel loved when friends and family help me with jobs or projects versus I really enjoy receiving gifts from friends and family. Um, I enjoy receiving gifts from friends and family. I try to be as independent as possible so whenever I have my own project, and people don't help me, I'm just kinda like, eh. I feel secure when someone close to me is touching me versus acts of service make me feel loved. First one. I appreciate the many little things that people do for me. I value gifts that people make for me. The first one as well, I love it when people do like simple things, like day-to-day -day tasks and they help me with it. I know someone is thinking of me when he or she gives me a gift versus I feel loved when someone helps me with my chores, um, gives me a gift when they're thinking about me. I appreciate it when someone listens patiently and doesn't interrupt me versus when someone remembers special days with a gift, um, listens patiently and doesn't interrupt me. Because I feel like I talk a lot, so if like what I said before, if you have the power to be able to listen to me for hours, I applaud you. I like knowing that people are concerned enough to help me with my daily tasks. I enjoy full day adventures or trips with someone close to me. Second one, I love outings with people. Even if it's just like a very simple cafe date or like to go to like, I, I don't know, window shopping, I enjoy that. Getting a kiss from a parent or older relative makes me feel loved. Whoops. Receiving a gift for no special reason from a parent or older relative makes me feel loved. 
Second one, when it's from like parents or older loved ones, I feel very uncomfortable when they try to give me kisses. I don't know, is it like something that changed in me as I get older, but I'm just like, don't touch me that this is my no-no square. Gifts from people I'm close to are always special to me versus I feel good when someone I'm close to touches me. Um, second one, I need to be touched every day. That sentence is so wrong. I need words of affirmation every day. Um, I don't need to be touched every day, even though I do prefer physical touch, but words of affirmation every day is something that I would love to have. 100%! What are the results? This is so... This is so expected. Physical touch, primary love language is physical touch. Okay, so interesting. Both words of affirmation and quality time are equally as important. They are both 23% and receiving gifts is 4th um, followed by acts of service that is 7th. Yeah, that is something that I really hate about a relationship. I feel like I feel like I don't like it when people do things for me and I, I don't know about other people. I guess I kind of enjoy doing things for people but most of the time just like you got no hair, you got no leg, yeah, go do it yourself. Like that kind of, that kind of attitude. Um, cause I don't understand why people have to do things for me. Cause you know, independence is important. Let's read the results. So a person whose primary language is physical touch is, not surprisingly, very touchy. Hugs, pats on the back, and thoughtful touches on the arm. They can all be ways to show excitement, concern, care, and love. Physical presence and accessibility are crucial, while neglect or abuse can be unforgivable or destructive. Appropriate and timely touches communicate warmth, safety, and love to you. And I think that's very accurate because there were times where people that I wasn't very close to tried to hold my arm or pat my head and I would instinctively lean back or like try to get away from them because to me it's like it occurred to me that I'm not close enough to you to reach that kind of relationship level yet so if they do that it's like what they say unforgivable and destructive so I guess that's the end of the video today I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video even though it was quite short and quite simple as well and I'll see you guys soon so bye.